Okay, good evening, everyone. Let's start with the session. Uh, so we are going to today start with the new chapter. We have completed with plants, we have completed with animals, we have completed with birds. And uh, then now we are going to start with our new chapter that is food, very easy chapter, okay? So first of all, the question arises that why do we require food? Why do we need it? We can live without food also. Yes, Vatsal? Ma'am, yes, we can live without food, but only for a few days. Okay. And uh, food is uh, important uh, for us to grow yeah. and uh, survive. Very, very, very nicely said. Means for few days, okay, we can survive, but still we will become lethargic and weak, isn't it? If we are not eating food, we will not be active as we are right now, isn't it? So food is very important in our life because we can live, we can grow, we can survive. That is all because of food we are eating, okay? That too, if I compare junk food with the healthy food, which food is good for us, Anam? Healthy. Healthy food is good for us. Okay. Do you eat healthy food? Yes, ma'am. Good. Very good. So we need to eat uh, some junk foods also. We rarely, but rarely. Okay. Not often. Not on the regular basis. Okay. We all eat. Definitely we all eat junk foods, but rarely we should eat. Okay. So first important thing is that the food, we require food to grow, to live. Yes. To survive and uh, to do all the activities to get energy. And uh, secondly, that the food is important and we should give more focus on the healthy food rather than on the junk foods, okay? Or unhealthy foods. So I'm sharing my screen. Okay, food. What is food? So food is what? what? Whatever we eat when we are hungry is known as the food. Food helps us to grow and provides us energy to work and play. It contains special substances called nutrients. So what are nutrients? Nutrients are the substances or we can say they are the components of the food. Remember it, okay? What are nutrients? Nutrients are present in the food. So they are special substances or they are the components of food. And how many nutrients there are? Seven nutrients there are, okay? Like, for example, carbohydrates, vitamins, minerals, fats, roughage, water, okay? And proteins, clear? So seven nutrients we are going to study. So nutrients are the components of food. Nutrients are extremely important for proper growth and healthy body. There are seven nutrients, water, carbohydrates, fat, proteins, vitamins, minerals, fiber, fiber or roughage. This is the same thing. Okay. Next comes. Functions of the food, as we are already discussing, what are the functions of the food? They provide energy. They are responsible for the growth and development of the body. We all know that. Helps us to stay fit and healthy. Tissue repair. What do I mean by tissue repair and maintenance of body part? Means what happens? Our cells, they keep on getting dead also. Okay. So it is repairing our cells, damaged cells. Okay, for example, if you get any wound at your knee or somewhere, what happens? After some days, that wound will heal up, yes or no? So what is happening? The ruptured or the damaged cells, they are getting changed with the healthy cells, yes or no? That is why, because you are eating food, you are getting nutrition, clear? Protect us from diseases, obviously, if you are eating healthy foods, it will make you fit and healthy. Regulatory, regulatory functions means all the functions like your digestive system, circulatory system, nervous system. If you are eating good, healthy food, your all the systems will work actively. Sense of safety and security. 
sharing social status symbol means you're eating like your like cornflakes or the good foods fruits and vegetables high quality so it is also a status symbol coming to food pyramid now as you can see it is like a triangle everyone can see it is like a triangle why it is like a triangle because you can see at the base of the pyramid you have to eat those things which your body requires the most okay that is carbohydrates your body requires carbohydrates at the maximum so that is why the carbohydrates occupy the base of the pyramid next level is fruits and vegetables means main main focus you have to give on wheat okay that is wheat chapati wheat things okay so wheat rice chapati these all things you have to focus so it is taking the base of the pyramid coming to the second level of pyramid that is the fruits and vegetables coming to the third level of pyramid that is milk and milk products protein rich diet okay coming to the fourth very little which you want to take is that is fats oils and sweets okay that you you have to you, your body requires fats oils and sweets but in less quantity if you eat more of the fatty foods or more of the oily foods you will become obese obese means what do you mean by obese or obesity yes watson Ma'am, obese means uh, diet uh, being fat. Fatty, fatty. That is obese. Yes, there can be other problems also. That is uh, due to fat. I means uh, if you are bulky, there can be other problems also. But uh, most of the problems, like your belly fat problem, is that is due to the consumption of more and fat and oily products. Clear. so we have started with food and in food what we have done till now that food it provides energy to do various activities secondly that uh, it helps us to survive to live and grow repair of the damaged cells makes us active these are all the functions of the food we have done till now isn't it after that we have done the components of the food so there are seven components of the food Yes, Mira. Ma'am, what is meant by components? Component means parts of food. Means food you are eating. Inside that there are which components? Okay. So next heading Ma is. Can you move back? It's everything given in the contents, Neha. coming to the components of food so what are the components of food i told you there are seven components seven components what are these components carbohydrates fats vitamins minerals water roughage 
और फाइबर एंड प्रोटीन्स दीज आर दिन कंपोनेंट ऑफ फूड ऑल्सो इन द फंक्शन ऑफ द फूड यू कैन राइट इट प्रोटेक्ट अस फ्रॉम डिजीजेज ऑल्सो इन फूड यू आर राइटिंग सो यू कैन राइट इट इट प्रोटेक्ट अस फ्रॉम डिजीजेज ऑल्सो यस वर्ण्य अचिंते यू हैव रेज हैंड okay next come to food pyramid the next topic which we have done was yes akash ma'am sorry i late uh, 10 minutes so what is food pyramid i told you it is having the shape of a triangle and what is there at the base the food which we have to eat maximum is there at the base okay so what we have to eat maximum carbohydrates okay then comes fruits and vegetables then comes milk and milk products that is protein rich diet and the last is fats and oils yes anand ma'am please tell me the definition of food pyramid definition of food pyramid yes ma'am okay i'll just show you in the slide so this is food pyramid is what it is telling it is telling about the amount of food you have to means the intake of the food you have to take in how much amount quantity like carbohydrates you have to take in maximum which is providing energy it is you have to take in maximum fats and oils you have to take minimum in your diet okay this is what is showing the food pyramid yes neha Akash, keep your hands on. Ma'am, in second one, you have written two times milk. Milk and milk products actually have. Okay. Like cheese, curd. These are milk products. Well, one minute.
डन प्रत्युष यस मैम ओके सो एनएमसी ऑन द स्क्रीन अ फूड पिरामिड टेल्स अस व्हाट टू ईट एंड इन व्हाट क्वांटिटी एज आई वाज सेइंग यू ओके लाइक कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स यू हैव टू ईट इन मैक्सिमम क्वांटिटी for example it shows us that we need the maximum amount of healthy carbohydrates this only i told you we have to eat maximum carbohydrates smaller amount of vitamins and minerals and even smaller amounts of proteins so fruits and vegetables are the vitamins and minerals if you want to write you can write in the bracket where you have written fruits and vegetables they are the vitamins and minerals even smaller amounts of proteins which is the third layer and fats and oils in our diet which is in the very small amount tiny amount very small amount eat foods from each cell shelf of the food pyramid in the correct amounts each day is that clear means this should be your each day demand of your body is that clear and why carbohydrates in maximum amount can anyone tell me why you should eat carbo okay fats and oils so we have understood it will make up obese or it will create heart problems that is why we have to take in less amount but why we have to take carbohydrates in more amount yes anam ma'am because the car carbohydrate gives us energy exactly carbohydrates it provides us energy that is why the other name of carbohydrates is they are energy giving foods now where do we get our food from either from plants we get or from animals we get yes two are the sources from which we can get the uh, food food plants like you get fruits you get vegetables you get cereals pulses your spices all these things you get from plants what you get from animals for example your milk cheese egg milk you take from that you make cheese you make curd egg these are all the things you get from animals now coming to what are nutrients so what are nutrients these are the substances which are present in the food and which is very useful to us these nutrients are necessary for our life and growth food contains seven essential nutrients what are that nutrients proteins carbohydrates fats vitamins minerals fiber water clear these all i have already told you all seven nutrients now the nutrients are classified into two macronutrients and micronutrients what are macronutrients can anyone define macronutrients see the name is suggesting macro means more amount micro means small amount so macronutrients are those nutrients which are required in large quantity micronutrients are those nutrients which are required in small quantity is that clear understood so macro means more micro means less now the seven nutrients which are there that is you have to now discuss we will discuss one by one what are they okay first of all carbohydrates now both these carbohydrates as well as fats both these are energy giving foods remember that okay so carbohydrates are called the energy foods or energy giving foods they give the body energy for all activities some of the foods that contain carbohydrates like your rice pasta bread these all contain carbohydrates coming to fats fats store energy fats protect the body against cold they also protect the organs of the body because there will be mass on that yes so that is why they will protect the internal body organs also they can protect from the cold the animals which are living in very cold areas you have studied they have thick fat layer yes that is the fat they are protecting them some of the fats we eat found in oils nuts butter meat these are all containing fats clear coming to proteins so proteins what are they they are the building blocks they are known as the building blocks of food why because they build and repair the parts of the body clear some of the proteins we need is milk eggs beans and meat fish these are all protein rich diet clear this much 
Coming to vitamins, don't worry, I'll make you right also, don't worry. Vitamins, vitamins are what? They are protective foods. Why they are known as protective foods? Can anyone tell me? Yes, Akash? Ma'am, uh, what protective food you call? Means, ma'am, fruits and vegetables, it makes us strong and it can make our bones very strong. My question is, Akash, why vitamins and minerals are known as protective foods? This is my question. Because vitamins are called protective foods. Because they yes, give us Meera. very energy. Can mute yourself. Mute yourself. Yes, Meera. Man, because vitamins protect us from diseases. Exactly. Vitamins and minerals, they protect us from diseases. That is why they are known as protective foods. They protect against diseases and keep us healthy. Vitamins like A, B, C, D, E, K are all the vitamins which are needed by the body. Coming to minerals. Minerals are the substances that build our bones, teeth, hair, skin, muscles. Iron, calcium, sodium, iodine, all these are the examples of the minerals which our body requires. Fiber. Fiber is also called as roughage as I've already told you. The because why it is having no nutritive value. It is not giving any nutrition to us. But then what is the use, ma'am? The use is that it helps us in the digestion process. And where is the fiber found? It is found in the nuts and the fruits and vegetables. Is that clear? It is just helping in the digestion process. Coming to water, what is the function of water in our body? It transports all the nutrients from one part to other part throughout the body clear also maintains our body temperature clear so water is having other usefulness yes sayam ma'am what is meaning of uh, grains grains like wheat grain rice grain okay ma'am yes vanya ma'am uh, can you move on previous slide Yes, ma'am. In this, uh, my and micro and macro. Yes, I don't understand. This. Macronutrients are those nutrients which are required in maximum amount, more amount, we can say. Nutrients, they are. Voice is breaking. Voice is breaking. For others also? No? Then might be your side problem. Macronutrients and micro. Vanya, please, uh, Manu, you check your. You Vanya, the problem is on your side because others are not facing the problem. So you check your internet connection. Micronutrients. Macronutrients are those nutrients which are required in large quantity. And micronutrients, they are which are required in less quantity. Clear? This is micro and macro. Now coming to the different types of nutrients if we come. So one by one, if you want to take it. In one minute. So they do discuss the Mama.
Yes, Neha. I'm I got disconnected. So can you explain that what have you explained previous? Macro and micro only we have done. Macro which is required in large quantity, micro that nutrients which are required in less quantity. Okay, ma'am. Okay, coming to one by one, we are going to discuss. Can you back? One minute. I'm less is there. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. 